Dusty here. I'm at Connections. I'm with uh, Mr. Uh, um, Cliff Frost. And uh, Cliff, uh, you're a pretty well-known guy around Connections. Uh, any know. idea why? Um, well, I seem to uh, take a couple of pictures here. I think this year I'm going to be taking about 900 images in three, two and a half days. Wow. So. Yeah. Well, I've seen. You know, you've captured me. You know, you've captured the good side apparently. But there is no good. bad side to Dusty. Oh, so thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Well, what I was thinking here is now you bought a rug bag at the last Connections. At the Connections, yeah. yeah. And we got it delivered, and I'll tell you what, it is the best thing since sliced bread. And we've done a lot of rugs, we've made a lot of money with it already. And the interesting thing is the amount of dust that comes out of rugs that you never thought were there is just incredible. Um, I took it out on the first day we took a rug. And we, we put it out there, and all of a sudden, we had this huge pile of dust under each one of the little grates. Wow. Um, one of the other things we're doing with it is we're doing a lot of um, walk-off mats for, okay. our, for our commercial work <coughs> and dusting them. And the amazing thing is how much dust those walk-off mats are into. Wow. So, yeah. Um, and it's made, and we, we videoed it and took it to our, to our uh, commercial accounts, and all of a sudden, they're like, that came out of there, and that's only one month. Wow! So yeah. it's been a it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, that's great to hear. You're so successful. With that. Have you been doing special advertising or marketing strategies? Anything? What's working for you? What's working for us right now is we sent a, a, a card out that talks about dusting and, and the rug stuff, and it's been in our newsletter already. Okay. And um, we're using that along with our green cleaning program. We're picking up consumer electronics at people's homes when we pick up rugs. We're picking up consumer electronics also and recycling the consumer electronics to our solid waste agency. So that that way we're already there. We, and it only takes one more trip out to carry electronics out. So we can recycle our uh, computers and telephones and fax machines and whatever else. And then we just store it in our warehouse and then take wow. it to the recycling center. I, I've never heard that be done, so that's all part of your green thing. Our like, green you know, thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the badger comes into the green side because we're leaving less dust in their, in their rugs, so it's much, much cleaner and much better than if we were without the badger. Wow. Okay, that's really cool. So you do understand that rug badger is actually the greenest and driest cleaning process there is, right? Absolutely. Yeah. It is part of the green program. <laughs> right on. So how do you finish off after you, you knock all the gritty ground in, right? Raise the dirt out with the right badger. Uh, how do you finish it? We're, do we're using we're using uh, foam ex foam and then extracting it with uh, water. Sometimes we're bathing it depending on what we need to do. So we'll put, we'll put it in a bath in a pit, wash pit, and wash it. Um, other times, depending on the rug and what we're doing with it, and and, and what the what the level of soiling or uh, base fiber soiling is. Okay. Because we take a look at the base fiber soiling and see what we need to do after that, after we get all the dust out. You just hit it with the, with the hammers big enough to the rug, you know? Right. You don't, okay, that's good. So you, you're custom matching the, the rug to what's going to be best and safest for it. Right. Excellent. Well, that's really great. So what's the best advice you could give to somebody that's thinking about, you know, maybe getting more serious about rug care? Um, the, the rug care industry is, is booming because very few people are really doing it right. You've got all the mom and pops out there that are washing rugs and picking them up maybe and taking them to their garage. And if they're doing anything, they might be vacuuming them. Yes. You know, they're not even using a pile lifter 90% of the time. So that would be, that's what we were doing before the rug badger, is using a pile lifter on a certified or, well now certified pile lifter is the only one that's really out there. Um, but after that, um, the rug badger is, is the best thing. So if you're using a rug badger, or if you haven't bought one yet, you need to just watch one of the videos on the website so you can see how much dust actually comes out of them. And you're going to have a video on your website too? We're going to be starting to embed with video. At this moment, we don't have embedded video on our website, but that's the next step in our so web have, What is your website? It's www.multi-maintenance.com. And there's a hyphen between multi and maintenance. Okay, you got that? There's a hyphen in there. So, Cliff, you're a rug lover. Yep. You're, you're, uh, you're, you're um, a full blown rug lover, I'd have to say. Yes. Great. Well, thank you very much thank you. for uh, the interview. And thank you, Dusty. You, uh, you've helped us tremendously, and the Rug Badger is a really, really cool piece of equipment. Thank you.